Um, hi guys, so in this video I want to showcase a little trick that I'm using to um, dynamically enable um, physics on a physics object, all right, or on, a, on an object that's supposed to be simulating physics. So I'm going to show you something and then I'm going to explain it and then after that I'll show you the code. So what will be happening, there will be a ball traveling around this plan and then when it reaches this point, it will simulate physics, right. The reason why we want to control um, the ball along this line is because we have a target duration for it to reach this point. So this is what I mean. And now we dumping out the roof. Do, 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 do. Drive past guns, blast, shooting up the charts too. Oh, me K D O D put D and D inside my suit. Okay, so you can see that these balls they've reached this point, right? Like Steph Steph carries shooting the balls and then they reach these points when the snare is playing, right? So that's why we are using a spline. So we are moving these balls along the spline um, and this is the target point. And to do that, we are using this little plugin um, right here called Media Engine Rhythm Tools. I'll expand on that later. But anyway, this is not the, that's not the objective of this video. The objective of this video is when once we reach here, you can see that we enable the physics of this object, like the physics takes over and then the, ball, the, the balls get simulated, they bounce around and all over. So one way to do that, okay, is in your blueprint, like the one that's supposed to f simulate physics at a later point, you don't want to start with physics enabled, right? So if you go to like construction script right here, you can see that when this object is constructed, I immediately set the actor's uh, collision to off, right? Um, they did not give us uh, the option to do this from the details panel. So you have to call this function on begin play or on the construction script, right? So you have to set the collision off, right? So, and then one other thing is in your like, sphere or the collision target, you can set up all your, 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 your physics, some um, details as you want. As you, see, you can see, you can set up the collision preset, like block or dynamic, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like the ma like the mass, but you have to hold off on the simulate physics. Okay, this one leave it off. You'll need to check this one off and then set the actor collision to off, right? And then what's going to happen is um, when our actor, right, when it collides or when it reaches this point, that's when we want to enable the physics. We want to enable the collision, right? So if I go here. It says, um, this is like an event from this plugin, Media Engine Rhythm Tools. But for you, you can maybe say on, 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 on collision or something, right? On overlap, on an overlap event, right? <clears throat> something like, like this, right? So it doesn't matter which event kicks off this, this chain of events. For me, I'm using this one, right? So. Going back to the tutorial, when this um, my ball reaches this like target, right? We are going to spawn um, VFX effects, right? This is what we are doing. We are spawning VFX effects. But when it reaches the end of the spline, which is um another event right here, we are going to cast the actor that's um reaching this end to our our B ball, so as to say. And then we are going to enable the collision. So this function is this one. It's just that here we are disabling and then the here we are enabling the collision. Cool. We have the collision on, but remember we also set the physics off here. So we continue uh, along our executions and we set the simulation back on, right? So we disable it here so that we can enable it here. So that's pretty much it. And then maybe something that you might be interested in is that when we enable the, the physics and the collision, I just add like a random force so that the balls don't um, like land at the same place. So I'm getting like a random locate, random force in a random uh, direction. So that's how you see the balls dropping left, right, center. So what you see here that's happening um, here uh it's just spawning vfx effects i'm spawning the system at location this is the fire system and then i'm spawning another system uh basically okay it's a vfx effect that's not the target of the tutorial but 
this is okay so you can turn on um, collisions on and off when you want for example if you had to develop like a basketball game and uh if somebody's aiming at this thing you want to like direct the ball to this hoop and then at some point when the ball ex exits the hoop you might want to you might want to um, enable physics so that the ball just bounces like um you know normally like convincingly so yeah let's watch this one more time and now we dumping out the roof so you can see that the, this event was firing on and off so yeah to close this off i just want to let you know this is the plugin that i'm using to sync things to music it's called midi engine with them tools uh midi engine has a bunch of um different plug it's mostly uh the framework right so that means different plugins that are working together for example you can start off with media engine broadcasters if you want this is the bare minimum if you want to sync things to um to media events and your media events you can create them using like um like fl studio for me i'm using fl studio if you have ableton you can use ableton import your media into unreal engine and then just do whatever you want as you can see this media is controlling this guy it's controlling this it's controlling that and rhythm tools is, is is actually based on media engine broadcasters so the thing that's driving most of the magic here it's media engine broadcasters all right but rhythm tools um handles the part where the the, the ball is moving along the spline right that's what it does so it makes sure that the ball starts moving and then it reaches this point on time every time without fail right so that ball will reach this point on time every time without fail each time the the snare plays it will reach this point and now we dumping out the roof do, 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 do. Drive past guns blast shooting up the charts too uh, me anyway uh catch you later